Residents in Evansville are accusing their local newspaper of disseminating hateful speech against the LGBTQ community. Tonight, Wardjalis is digging deeper into the issue that brings into question where hate speech should be allowed. On the shelves of just about every store in Evansville, you'll find a copy of the town's paper, the Evansville Review. But lately, the paper has been the subject of controversy. I know several families who have left specifically because of the review. This Evansville woman says the review has been spreading hate speech against the LGBTQ community. Several paid ads and editorials obtained by 27 News show guest articles accusing the LGBTQ community of grooming children and calling them perverts. These ads sent to every Evansville household. This woman says her LGBTQ children feel its impact. They've been harassed all over town. And they're not alone. And the fact that they are sending this ad sheet to every single home within the city limits. It's irresponsible. It's abhorrent. The Evansville Review is actually headquartered in one of these buildings just behind me. It may not look like much, but this is the paper of record in Evansville, meaning it receives taxpayer dollars from the government to continue to operate and send out public notices and agendas. And because of that, legal experts say there's not much they can do. They don't have much of any legal basis uh, for trying to stop that. They can call the paper, they can request um, via email that they stop circulating, um, but it's very hard to shut that down. The paper's editors refute claims that they publish homophobic content, saying, to say I attack the LGBT community is wrong. Ads that come in that may be in opposition to those who are decrying to you are paid for and are not my views and not my ads. The one behind these scathing editorials is Ronald Gay, a pastor at a local Evansville church. People have said that what you're saying is harmful. Do you, can you see where they're coming from? I do. If I speak truth and it hurts somebody, I have no intention to hurt people. I intend to help them. Agree or not, the Evansville Review will continue, but opponents say their fight is only just beginning. In Evansville, Warjalis, 27 News. An Evansville City Council member has also started a petition calling on the paper to stop sending its ads to all households. You can find a link to that petition and the full response from the paper's editors on our website.